Well, tonight, remembering those killed when a church van crashed while heading home after a revival. That van was carrying 18 people from a church in Fort Pierce. It crashed in Moorhaven, killing eight. CBS 4's Ted Scouton spent the day with grief-stricken friends and relatives. He has the story tonight from Fort Pierce. I just can't give up now. With flames lighting their faces, members of the Independent Haitian Assembly of God Church remember their friends and loved ones who are gone. They lit special candles for each person who died. They were killed when their church van slammed into a water-filled ditch in Moorhaven. <laughs> At a church service, friends prayed for strength, yet cried in agony, remembering those they lost. Sunday morning, they were here praising the Lord. And today, eight of them are not here. Nicholas Alexis is one of the lucky ones. He was one of the 18 people in the van when it raced through a stop sign over busy US 27 and then into the ditch. He was thrown from the back of the van to the front, along with several others. I have uh, four people fell my sh my shoulder. The people next to him were killed. He managed to kick out a window and limp to the highway for help. I keep it in uh, raise my hand and say, help, I need help, I need help, I need help. And nobody can help me. Finally, someone stopped. By then, nearly half of the people in the van were dead. Four-year-old Fahana was lucky. She made it. The driver was killed. He was Philippe Dorsey's father-in-law. My father-in-law was a sweet guy. You can't believe me. I mean, I, I can't even talk about him that much because, I mean, I don't have no, I mean, no word to describe him. We're told the people in the van were singing just before the crash. They were heading back from a revival in Fort Myers. Jeanot Petit Ferrer's parents were on board. He lost both his mom and his dad. God knows why that happened, why I have to lose my parents this way, and why I have to bury them at the same day. The church will remain open around the clock for the next few days, allowing people to come in here and share their feelings and pray. They'll also be making funeral arrangements for those who didn't make it. In Fort Pierce, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News Tonight.